What's up, YouTube? It's Zach here, and today I'm gonna re um, remake a video that I made in the past. I got deleted, but basically, it's about um, jinn exorcism or bad spirit exorcism, or in Islam we call it ruqiyah. Now, this is something that um, all three books, whether it's the Quran, the Torah, the Bible, you know, all three religions talk about. Even spirituality talks about. And this is, you know, most often, how does a bad spirit get into someone? Well, it oftentimes it happens through um, black magic. Someone you know, inducing this, putting, you know, doing certain techniques and putting black magic on an individual. Um, within the Quran, we had Surah Al-Falaq and Al-Nas, and, you know, oftentimes that's what we tell people to read in order to get rid of this. But also those, you know, Al-Falaq in particular talks about how people tie the knots in order to, you know, put evil in someone. Now that might confuse the, the reader, like, well, what does tying the knots have to do with anything? Well, you know, I'm not going to go into the techniques that you know, people use to put black magic on individuals. But uh, one of those techniques is, yeah, they tie knots in certain ways and say certain things. And that's how they do it. And, and in the Quran specifically, you know, addresses that. Now, one thing, one thing that's important to understand is that all my videos in general, what I'm trying to do is, you know, get people into the belief in God and into the supernatural, which are interconnected, right? Because God is the supernatural. God is everything, right? And, you know, that's what I hope a lot of my viewers, they might be atheists or people might be atheists or they might not understand things. And, you know, when I talked about my last video, is religion just ancient fables and stuff? A lot of the criticisms that people have towards religion, I try to, you know, refute that. And I do this a lot through personal experiences as well as things that are in the Quran, but this is very much a personal experience thing. So anyways, I, I ended up meeting this girl and she was just on Facebook. I know she posted like tarot cards and I was like interested. I was like, oh, you're into tarot cards. You know, I wanted to know uh, about that. And I know she was a really, really talented reader. She was also someone who's religious. She um, essentially kind of grew up in the church, um, so to speak. And, um, you know, I remember she was doing reading. She had some bad things happen to her. Like I remember she was, she told me she was driving and then these people cut her off and they got out of the car and like punched her in the head and she was like traumatized from it. And, um, you know, she was just having these crazy things happen to her. And so she was doing readings that she was seeing that her ex was, you know, like sacrificing a chicken, like doing all these weird things to put black magic on her. And she's like, well, you know, I used to learn about that in church, but I never believed it. But now I'm starting to believe it. And I'm like, oh, hey, I'm a Muslim. Like we believe in that. Like I can meet up with you and I can help you with those things. So I remember, you know, I I met up with her. I held the Quran in my hand. I held her, I had her hold my hand while I was holding the Quran, and I just read, you know, Al Fatiha, Al Falak, Al Nas, Surah Al Mulk, um, you know, Ikhlas, um, Al Kursi, you know, uh, I think probably Ayat Al Nur too. I mean, just any Quran that I could read, any Ayat or Duaat that I could come across, I read it. And um, you know what was astounding was that during this time, as I was saying this, she started burping, and she and she was a spiritually talented person. I mean, she could astral project, um, you know, she could talk to the dead. I mean, this this is someone who's a spiritually gifted person, um, you know, whatever you want to call those, whether that be saints, whatever. I mean, just like some, you know, Ronaldo's gifted at soccer. Some people are gifted in the spiritual realm. But she was seeing this entity come out of her, and as I was reading the Quran, she was even seeing how. What she was, she saw a left portal and then she saw a right portal. And she was seeing how um, the thing she was doing was kind of putting her into the left portal, but she wanted to go into the right portal. She was seeing how, as I was reading this, that all the, the curses and the sihir and the magic that they put on her was going back to them. And this is something that within Islamic tradition we talk about that when someone puts black magic and you get it off, you send it back to the individual. That's why it's not worth it to do black magic, you know, whether people are in Santeria or whether people are in. Kabbalah or any type of spiritualism that even is separate from the Abrahamic religions, they all say don't do black magic because it all ends up coming to bite you in the ass. I mean, that's that's karma, so to speak, right? And you just curse yourself. I mean, is it really worth it to get someone back for whatever, two weeks or life sucks and you have to spend eternity, eternity in hell for that? I mean, it's not worth it. So, um, you know, this was interesting and she was burping as I was doing this and she was seeing that entity be released from her. Um, and during that time period, you know, she really became strongly into Islam and, you know, that's, that's what my goal is, is to help people. Um, I've seen other videos of the uh, Rukiyas and, you know, the concept of the gym being stuck in the, the, the stomach seems to be a strong concept. Um, so I personally experienced that. I personally saw it. I mean, I was almost, I was, I was brought to tears as I was reading this and seeing her reaction because anytime I see something that makes me, that brings God in my face is such a great thing. And, um, 
you know, so how does this apply to you? I know there's people out there who say, well, I'm a ruqiyah, I'm a this, I'm a this. You don't need to go to a sheikh. You don't need to go to someone who claims they're a specialty ruqiyah. You don't need to go to an exorcist, whatever the hell you want to call them. You know, these are things that you can do on your own. These, these, these uh, surahs, whatever, you can read them online. You got YouTube and you can read or sing along, you know. Um, read along with it. Read it in English if you if you can't read in had an Arabi or whatever. You know, read. Do, you can do these on your own, and this is something that you can do. But yes, this is a real story. This is a real gen ex, gen exorcism that I did on someone. Um, you know, I'd read Al Falak, Al Nas, Al Kursi, Al Fatiha, um, Ikhlas, Al Mulk, any du'a I could find. Um, so in, in other words, you know, spirituality is real. These black magic is real jinns you know, being inside of someone is real but also you know don't take the you don't need you have the power within you the power through allah right allah god carries all the power right so you don't need to go to someone else and say hey can you do this for me i'm um, you know i'm going to pay you 500 dollars, whatever they're going to charge you 500 dollars. you know just try it yourself i mean yeah if it gets terrible and it's really bad yeah go to your sheikh go to your priest you know, go to a trusted rukia you know there's a lot of stories of rukias who scam people or even sexually assault them or whatever um but yeah, just stay strong in your prayers. I mean, this is this is why we should pray. This is why we're told to pray. And and God says only fasting. Now that's Ramadan, happy Ramadan to everybody. Ramadan is for Allah, but fasting is for I mean, uh, fasting is for God, but prayer is for you, right? So this is why prayer is for us because someone can give you the evil eye even if they don't intentionally mean to give you the evil eye. Someone can you know be into black magic. You rub them the wrong way. You know, um, you have a bad thing with a girl and you break up, whatever. And next thing you know, she's doing chants over a fire and, and there's a flood in your house, right? So just protect yourself. Um, but also do realize the spirituality, you know, spirituality is real. You know, I'm not here. I'm not going to make this up. You know, um, you know, she saw it herself. She was a tarot reader. And that's what I also want to do. I want to bring the spiritual community and the Islamic community and the Judaic community and the Christianic community together. I want to bring all religions together and I want to, I want to bring all peoples together. So inshallah, we can all be brought together and inshallah, we're all protected from black magic. Thank you for watching.